Okay, I'll move it quickly forward because we're pretty way over time here. So, um, <clears throat> as uh, you guys talked about electroacoustics, uh, the area that the city deals with is optical electroacoustics. <laughs> so it brings uh, music and say into the realm of optics, not in terms of visual music, but in terms of how the signal is converted, electro, elect, or, uh, electro optical conversion, as it goes over the, the uh, research backbone. So we have a electro, uh, electro optical, I guess you call it a, um, say a ADC, so it would be an optical. <laughs> analog, an analog to electrical, digital, optical conversion, and vice versa. <laughs> right. right. <laughs> and the uh, AE acoustics. Get a patent on that. <laughs> EA, electroacoustics, turns into OEA, optical electroacoustics. Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff to play with in that metaphor. Um, secondly, what we deal with in terms of time and space that Kevin was talking about earlier um, is that we work with multiple time spaces. So a particular frame of time space I call a chronotope. Chronotope. Topos. Coming from the Greek. Chronos, right? mm topos. -hmm. Um, but we're usually dealing for Necessarily, we always deal with at least two and hopefully more uh, nodes in a performance. So we're, mm -hmm. uh, what we're always dealing with is disjunction in chronotopic space. That's a necessity of our practice. So you're always trying to bridge it you know, s somewhere between 100 milliseconds and a half a second in terms of your, your distance between performers. Um, so that crosses a, a certain type of threshold that brings it into a new practice space. Mm -hmm. Maybe in the, uh, in the acoustic realm, you're always dealing with, you can deal with large spaces, and they're usually like 25 to 50 millisecond distances, you know, from the front of a hall to the back of the hall. Mm -hmm. So we, we cross a threshold as we go over that, which I think makes it a different practice. Um, I was thinking of the Republican debates but recently. <laughs> so um, did you guys follow the American debates about how the guy forgot the third department? Of, and so I was going to talk about chronotopes and the electro-optical conversion. What was that third thing I was going to say? <laughs> no, just kidding. Okay. Um, so we did a couple performances uh, recently uh, between, uh, it's called Candle, Canadian Distributed Laptop Ensemble. So that has been uh, an, sort of a, uh, an issue connected with CAC and uh, maybe activities stemming from 2006 or seven or something where we did the CEC and the EMAC. Uh, Electroacoustic Music Association of China mm -hmm. um, uh, cooperation thing for Music Acoustica is an annual electronic music festival. I think in 2006 or seven was uh, one year where Keck and Emac uh, made an effort to cooperate, and uh, Norma Duke came over and played a a concert of Canadian electroacoustic music. I think there were a couple other Canadians there. Is the guy with the key stick there? I wonder. Yeah. No, no. Oh, Gilles Gobey was there. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, efforts, you know, have uh, certainly been going in that direction of Canadian electroacoustic community in the China uh, Electronic Music Association and uh, this year we had a telematic performance between Asian participants, uh, Japan, uh, Taiwan, 
Beijing, Singapore, New Zealand, Sydney. So we had the, we made an effort to keep it, this one in the eastern uh, hemisphere. Is it a hemisphere or a southern northern hemisphere or eastern? How you uh, rotate the Pacific Bowl. <laughs> we call it, isn't it the Pacific Bowl or Pacific? Rim. Pacific rim. rim. But that's an economic concept, I think, isn't it? Or mm. well, not a concept, but a rule. A geo, geophysical. So. And uh, anyway, we uh, kept it within uh, relatively similar time zones. Mm -hmm. So you know, in earlier years, we did between Canada and China and uh, UK and China and USA. What's the time difference between Beijing and Canada? Like, like well, here for 15 hours right now. The forward 15 hours? Forward 15 okay. hours. So it's tomorrow. There. Yeah, so when you do concerts between Europe and in North America and Beijing, you have to, you have to uh, keep all that uh, in mind. <clears throat> like one performance we did, um, Canada and UK in the morning, we recorded it and then streamed it to Asia at night. So there was a, it was a delay, not milliseconds, but a few hours. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, one aspect that we like to try and uh, keep track of is one parameter is our liveness parameter. Know, working with recorded media as, as opposed to uh, generated material. Okay, so that's moving from Canada to uh, a, a China network. And uh, I think in the future, you know, um, as Kevin says, you know, we've made a lot of progress in the last few years. In terms of our connecting, I think it will go forward at an exponentially faster pace. You know, now that we have infrastructure, and more importantly, practice in place. You know, you can have the technology, but if, if you're not used to connecting, like this is a good opportunity just to uh, you know, go through the, the effort. You know, we've traveled here, and we've connected over the network but that should be habitual, and that just sort of collapses spaces. So, play something. You wanna play something from, well, let me talk about this one first just a little bit. This is uh, in terms of educational aspect of our program. We have a master's student who comes from the Conservatory of Music, um, but she's come to Calgary to do her master degree, but her instrument is the Arhu. So there's no Arhu teachers here, so she studies with uh, my wife, who's an Arhu professor at the Conservatory of Music in Beijing, and we connect every weekly to uh, give her master classes. This is in the picture of that. But this is a picture of her rehearsing a piece with Ivan Zavada at Sydney Conservatorium. And for this performance in October, Han Lu went through New Zealand before she arrived in Beijing, processed by, by Ivan. Yes. You could play it from, from there. Oops. It's a very short excerpt. Oh, oh yeah. Press on that little garden. Oh. 